We're out here at the Christmas house in Rancho Cucamonga, Inland Empire, and I'm here with Janice, you're the owner? Yes, my husband and I own the house, 27 years now. So tell me a little bit about the Christmas house. The Christmas house was built in 1904, and it's a historical landmark in city and county uh, registration. The house was originally built by a lumberman, very wealthy lumberman. Uh, he was a lumberman and a shipbuilder. He had 80 acres originally, and actually the acreage stayed with the house up until the 1970s. It was a working ranch up until 1975. Oh. He built the house for his wife to throw parties. Oh. She loved to entertain. They supposedly had prominent friends and were very wealthy, so there were lots of parties going on in the house. And when you look at the outside of the house, I mean, is it Victorian, am I correct? Late, technically, it's called Late Victorian Queen Anne. W was it in this shape when you got it, or have you done no. stuff to the property? <laughs> it looked like a haunted house when we got okay. it. We got a picture of that also. Oh. You really see evidence seeing a lumberman with all of the woodwork here. Wow. Lumberman and shipbuilder, he wanted to leave his mark on the house with all the woodwork. So the staircase is all original. This Actually, the house is entirely built of redwood, which is uncommon for Southern California. So the entire house, including the subfloor, the whole structure is redwood. Well, that's incredible. And what is this these room were, called? These were the double parlors, or the family called the Whitson family who owned the house uh, until 1975 referred to this as the reception room because this is where, their, where they received their guests for parties. Oh. And then they called this the parlor or also the music room because they had five musical instruments in this room. It has the lyre stained glass that's original. They had a Nickelodeon and a piano, and I don't even know what other musical instruments, but um, it just, it all sounds so grand, you know, like, yeah. like ballroom and, and that's music. what I picture when I think of the parties in the early 1900s that happened here. This is what the house and the ranch looked like through most of the 1900s. And then you can see all the citrus trees yeah. surrounding the house. And the, the palm trees. Well, we say look for the 15 palm trees yeah. uh, because uh, you can see them from quite a ways away. Now this is our uh, before picture. So this is, you asked what, how much work we had to do. This is what it looked like when we bought the house. Wow, yeah, I can see the yard is, uh -huh. I mean. All weeds, had a chain link fence across the front to keep people out. Well, it's, it's so lovely, Janice. I just, I love this. <laughs> now, the name started, the Christmas house, um, started because of all the Christmas parties that they used to have in the house. Oh, they going to ask? Yes, they were always having parties. And at Christmas time, really went overboard with very lavish Christmas parties. Can we see the rooms? We can. So we left the creaks in the stairs on purpose. Oh, I love so it. So as you're going up, you're going to hear the creaky stairs. Ooh, no sneaking everyone, around this house. No, and <laughs> everyone loves the creaks. It's part. Of, it's, we figure it's a comfort sound. It's part oh. of an old house. Well, what is this? This is the master suite. Um, it is an overnight room that we call the Celebration Suite, officially. When we have weddings here, this is the bridal dressing room. Ooh, so, you yeah. so pretty. <laughs> it's a beautiful room. We have just redone this room. It was just completed a couple weeks ago. This is where bride, bridesmaids all gather to put their dresses on before the wedding. This is um, a room that we've named heirloom because the framed handkerchiefs that are on the wall are my mother's heirloom handkerchiefs, including one she carried in her wedding. This room originally was the nursery, and everything was baby blue and pink, <laughs> but um, this is a beautiful it's room very, also. very, very pretty. And so this is typically where the bride and groom stay? This is the room that they want. Oh. There is a seclusion that you feel back here because this is a separate building. The, mm -hmm. This is the original carriage house, also built in 1904. Wow. Back then it was for their carriages. So we had to uh, do a lot of renovation <laughs> back here to make this nice. We put a skylight over the bed. Yeah. We put in the fireplaces back here in these two rooms, but these are old. This is a fireplace from the early 1900s. Mm -hmm. So you, do you do a lot of weddings here? Through the years, the house just became so much in demand for weddings, couples pleading, asking, and our weddings grew and grew and grew to where now we are more of a wedding facility 
with a bed and breakfast in supplementing. Yeah. But also what's nice for our weddings is that the couples can take our overnight rooms after the wedding when they're very tired. We give the bride and groom one room complimentary with their wedding. And then we also offer what we call our after party where they can have their friends and family take all the rooms and stay up late, sit in jacuzzis. Um, we give them pizza because we know they're going to be hungry yeah. again. <laughs> and so they get pizza, they stay up late, sit in jacuzzis, play poker, open the wedding gifts, whatever they want to do. Oh, wow. And then we serve breakfast to the whole group the next morning together in the dining room. So wow. our after party is what they can look forward to after the wedding is over. It's kind of another little uh, family gathering or friend gathering. Yeah, so it just love that. It just sounds like like a fantasy place to have your wedding at. I mean, it's do what do bride is that what brides say or? You know what they actually say. What I hear most often is it feels like home, mm -hmm. and I think that is a feeling. That's a good feeling, a comfort yeah. feeling that you have when you stay in a bed and breakfast inn, and for that to transfer to your wedding, you yeah. feel like you're having your wedding at home. The nice warm comfort feelings of being at home, but none of the work. Yeah, none so, of the work. That's yes. the point. <laughs> yes, yes. So what we hear most often is they love the home atmosphere that they feel for their wedding here mm -hmm. and we just have one wedding a day we're not trying to crank out you know hundreds of weddings yeah. so they get to customize more have more time not feel like they're being rushed and just enjoy that home atmosphere here this is primarily where our garden weddings happen and in Southern California we can have garden weddings just about year round yep. so most of our weddings are outside here in the gardens so I hear this room has an outdoor shower let's check it out so this is the outdoor shower. The shower head is a foot in diameter. It's more like a waterfall shower yeah. head than a rain shower head. And then it's filled with tropical plants. It's very private. That's always the first thing couples <laughs> have to make sure of, that nobody can see them. I tell them, unless you see a helicopter pilot hovering, a helicopter hovering over. Um, but pretty yeah, safe. Yeah, pretty safe. <laughs> Uh, the most common comment that I hear when people are checking out from this room is, we felt like Adam and Eve. Oh, <laughs> a loincloth for when you get out, yes. huh? <laughs> oh, it's just beautiful. I'm just going to walk out so here. Showering in a garden. Yeah, this is lovely. It's definitely very private, very, very private. quiet. So and yeah, also, that's huge. This is a nice room for newlyweds too. It's actually a toss up. Uh, couples have a hard time deciding jacuzzi or outdoor shower. Yeah. Okay, wow. I mean, all the grounds are just so beautiful here. Thank you. And Takes I, a lot of work. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, I noticed this swing. Feel free. Ooh, thank you. Come on over. Are, is this like your one of your favorite spots or? This is one of our wow spots, our favorite spots, weddings. It's not just the kids who are over here swinging. Yeah. It's the bride and groom, it's the adults. Everyone still loves to swing on a tree swing. Definitely. So, yeah. Now, where can people go to find out more information about the Christmas house? We have a website that has pictures and descriptions and rates for all of our rooms, as well as information about our weddings and the history of the house. The website address is www.christmashouseinn.com, okay. and that's I-N-N. Okay. ChristmasHouseInn.com. And is there, is there a direct phone number? Yes, phone number and our email. You can just go right from the website. Our phone number's there. Everything's there. Email, phone, whatever you want to do to contact us. Well, this is so great. Thank you again for having us Thank out here, Janice. Coming. I appreciate it. Right here in Rancho Cucamonga in the Inland Empire. Tucked away on a busy street. You wouldn't even know we're here. It's gorgeous. <laughs> you got to check it out.